Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to do data cleaning using Pandas library of Python programming language. We are going to have a data set about Netflix users and I'm going to add the data sets link in the description of this video. You can use that link for downloading the data set and applying the calls that you see on the video. Let's start coding. So here is the data card of the data set that we are going to use in this video. We are going to use this data. It says Netflix data cleaning analysis and visualization Let's read about it and let's take a quick look in here in Kaggle page and then I'm going to jump to the VS code. So firstly, I'm going to leave this datasets link and you can use this download button for downloading the dataset and coding with me in the video. So let's read about it. So it says Netflix is a popular streaming service. We all know Netflix. This dataset is clean version of the original version, which can be found here. The data consists of contents added to Netflix from 2008 to 2021. The oldest content is oldest 1925 and newest as 2021. Okay, so we can continue. We are going to use Python for all that stuff. It will be cleaned with PostgreSQL and visualized with table. So data cleaning it says some steps but I have my own steps so we are going to follow that I won't follow the one in this data card so we can see that we have show ID type title director country data that release year rating duration listen okay so we can directly jump into the VS code again I'm going to add this datasets link in the description of this video. You can just follow that link for getting into this data card and you can use this download button for downloading a CSV file. Okay, see you in the coding part. So here I am at the VS Code. You can use any code editor that you want, like you can use Spider, you can use Google Colab, you can use PyCharm, it's up to you. I'm going to use VS Code, I love VS Code. So I'm in the folder that I created for this video i'm just going to close this welcome page and i'm going to open the explorer and you can see that i put the csv file that i downloaded from kaggle in the same destination that i'm going to work on and then i'm going to save new file and i'm going to create a new notebook we are going to work with jupyter notebook in this video i will say notebook.ipymb and with creating the jupyter notebook i'm going to keep going with selecting a kernel I'm going to pick Python 3.11.4 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by importing the pandas because we are going to do the data cleaning with pandas. So I will say import pandas as pd and I'm going to show you the version of the library that I'm using. I will say pandas that version like this and we are going to see that actually I need to go with pd I guess and it's 2.0.3. So if you are having trouble when you are running the codes in this video, you can just use pip install pandas this version like you can install like this and you are going to have the version that I'm working with right now. So the codes will work on you. Great. So after that, we are going to start by reading our data set. So I will use pandas read CSV for reading my data and I'm going to come to here. I'm going to copy my data set in here. I'm going to put codes, paste it, and I'm going to make it run for seeing if it's loading successfully. Yes, it is. So we can see the columns, rows. So we can save it as data. And we are going to have data right now. Like whenever we call the data and we do operations, we are going to get this data frame. So I'm going to use head for seeing the first five rows of the data set. It's defaultly five, but you can change it to two or 20. It's up to you, the number. Like, you can also use tail. It displays the first rows. Like, if you put 20, it's going to display you the first 20 rows. But if you want to see the last 20, you can do tail like this, and you are going to last 20, and by default, it's five, two. But I'm going to use head and we can keep with default, it's not a problem. I'm just going to check columns and the values inside. So, so we have show ID, it says S1, S3, and we have type, we have title, director, all strings, 
country date added and we have release year rating duration and listed in okay so let's continue with getting a general information about the data set we can do that by data.info like this we can see that we have the non null counts and data types memory usage in this way okay i'm just going to make a copy paste right now i'm going to paste my data cleaning steps like this and we are going to go with these steps it starts with deleting redundant columns renaming the columns dropping duplicates remove the na values from the data set and then we are going to check for some more transformations so, so let's start i'm going to call data.head i'm going to call one again like this and i'm going to check what we can do like i think we can drop the rating column so it's i think unnecessary so for that we are going to do i'm going to call the data.columns for seeing its exact name like if you put space in an operation like let me show you quickly i'm going to call data and i'm going to pick rating column from this so it's written like that i'm going to make it run and i'm going to smoothly filter out so i have a new table displayed in here because i wrote the data column name correctly but what if i put a space so it's going to return an error here so we need to write the column names clearly that's why i call data.columns we can check from here so what we are going to do is we are going to drop the rating column so let's do that i will say data.drop and i'm going to say columns is going to be if we are going to drop multiple columns we can give it a list like this but we can simply write its name if we are going to drop a single one like we can see that we have a new data frame with rating dropped but as you can see if i call data dot hey again you are going to see that we have rating in the original data frame so we need to set this update we can do it by this we can just reset this data to this new data frame or we can use in place accused to true which is going to save our change in the original data frame and when we call the data.head or data.columns we are not going to see the rating from now on since we dropped okay great we can continue with the next steps so i'm just going to paste our steps again now we clear the deleting redundant columns next one is going to be renaming the columns so what we have in the column names is i'm just going to paste it again and check so i want all of them to be start with capital letters uppercase letters so how we can do that is with a string in python let's say example and it's going to be a string like uh, let's say car so if i want this first letter to be uppercase i can use example dot capitalize like this and it's going to give me the result since my example is string so what we can do is we are going to do this for all of them but if we try to do this one by one we are going to have out of time waste or what we can do is we can just use data.columns and we can assign a list with writing like show id but i'm not going to do that i'm going to show you a quick way so how we can do that is i'm going to say new column names and it's going to be an empty list then i'm going to say for index in data.columns i want you to index to capitalize so it's going to cap capitalize all of them one by one let's print that and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do next so we will see that we have all the column names that we want now i'm going to set them to my empty list like new column names that append and i will use index that capitalize then i'm going to call my new column names and you are going to see that we have the column names that we want in a list format so let's do the final operation we will do data.columns and from now on our columns is going to be named as the new column names so whenever i call the data 
we will see that the first letters are going to be uppercase. Great, that was what we wanted. So we can call data.columns and check it again. Yeah, it's just like we wanted. Great. Okay, let's continue with the next one. I'm going to call the steps again, not data.columns. So I'm going to copy my steps. We are going to continue with dropping duplicates. So duplicate means a row is same with a, another row. So how we can check duplicates is I'm going to say data.duplicated like this. And it's going to return me booleans like true and false. And if I want to see the true count, I can basically use that sum. And it's going to give me zero. So which means we have no duplicates in our data set. But I'm going to give a code for you for if you have any duplicates in your data set, you can clean them with this code. So for cleaning duplicates, we can do data that drop duplicates and again it's going to be not saved on the original data frame you can just use in place accused the true and with this code you can clean the duplicates in the data set okay let's continue with the next step remove the na values from the data set so we are going to check the na values like data that is na and it's going to return our booleans cell wise like this and we are going to use sum for seeing it column wise and we can see that it's zero for all of them great but what if we had i will say if we had na values we were we were going to use this code data that drop na and we were going to use in place accused to true so we can drop and save the non na version of the data set with this code great so our next step check for some more transformations okay let's go to the data.head again and see what we can do so we can see that at the show id side we have s1 s3 s6 and let's say we only want the integers so let's quickly check the unique values in the data show id dot unique and we will see that we have an array like this so it seems like they have all unique values for each entry yes and it seems like all starts with s so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove that s from that and i'm going to just return and save it to the original data frame and i'm going to return their data type to integer so let's do that firstly we need to do data show id and then we are going to do apply and we will do lambda we will say remove the s for the o axis for so for that i'm going to do x dot split and we can split by s and you are going to return the first element because indexes start with zero this is the first element if you say one it's going to return the second i miss say that so i'm going to make it run and as we can see we have the numbers right now so this is the result that we wanted and i'm going to save it like if i call the data again it's not going to be saved and if i want to save this to the show id i will do data show id is going to be equal to this so when i do that with closing that we are going to see that our show id will change like this and let's check its data type right now. Like we can take a sample, or we can take an example. I will say show ID zero. This is the first value of it. And it's a string because you can see, we can just check its type. So how we can change its data type is, we are going to do data show ID as type integer and when we do that it's going to return as a series we need to save it like this again because i'm going to make it run again it's going to return a string but if i save it like show id is going to be equal to this and i will check the type we are going to have integers in the show id column great so let's do one more example okay let's say that in the date edit side we can see we have this character over here so Let's say we want to change it with this. 
so we want to type the dates like this how we can do that is I'm just going to go to data and I will take the date edit column and I'm going to do lambda again and I will say not lambda apply lambda I will say for every x do x dot replace and I'm going to replace this with this so it's going to return me the values that I want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it like data, date edit, like this. And from now on, my date edit column is going to be like the way that I want. Great. So it's pretty cool. By the way, if you want to get value counts for a column, like let's say you want to see the value counts for the country you can do country that value counts I just saw Turkey so I'm curious how much Turkey is in here so I want to say it so we have a panda series returning and how you can find the country that you want from here is I'm going to show you a simple way like reset index and you will see that you are going to have a data frame like and you can do just filter this like a data frame you can save it and you can just pick data frame data frame country accused turkey and let's check it and it's 112 okay i just want to quickly check it it's not related to data cleaning but i just wanted to show you that and as the last step we cleaned our data we manipulated it and it's in the format that we want right now so what we are going to do next is we are going to export this data and we can do export this data as pretty much out of file types like you can just use two and you can see that you can export it as csv excel and you can see other data formats i'm going to show you csv in excel and i will say let's say data to csv and then i'm going to do cleaned data csv and you have auto parameters here you can see um just writing every time index accused to false because i don't want this index to return in my csv file so i'm just going to make it run and for saving it in excel i will say data to excel and i will say cleaned data excel but there's a problem i need to put csv in here so it's going to be wrong i'm just going to delete it clean.csv i just saw that so for the excel side i need to put xlsx and i'm going to set the index as false and when i make this to run with their this adding in here so i need to give boolean i'm just going to show you at the explorer that we have clean data csv and we have clean data excel in here so that was all for the coding part of this video i have a playlist for the data cleaning and there is like 10 20 data cleaning videos on there you can just check that for seeing more data cleaning tutorials or i'm sharing data science courses that are like 10 or 20 full free courses in my channel you can just check them for expand your knowledge in data science thanks for watching thanks for watching the video i'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and python programming you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i shared a free data science bootcamp where i teach python pandas numpy matplotlib plotly seaborn and scikit-learn with three projects the video is about seven hours and it's completely free you can just reach to that video from the cards of this video or the link in the description